What's up, geezers and geezerettes? In this video, we're gonna learn how to ollie off a curb right after this. Get off my lawn! With me here is Kate. You can find her on Instagram at skate underscore Kate. All right, Kate. So, have you ever tried to ollie off a curb? I have. How did it go? Um, I fell a few times. Most of the time, I just fell right before I like kind of went off. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what what are some of your fears with coming off uh, ollieing off of a curb? I guess just like falling and like falling backwards. Yes. <laughs> like that's what I picture. Like, you're not supposed to picture negative things. That's, and yeah. that's what happens every time. I know it's it's definitely retraining your brain to think positive, stay over the board, not behind the board. And that uh, I feel you. That is definitely a part of my fear too. So. Today, with the help of our man Gomez, we're going to conquer those fears, and I hope you do too. I'm here again with my main man Gomez, Gomi underscore shreds on the IG. We're going to talk about how to ollie off of a curve. Tell us a little bit about this, what kind of things we're going to have to think about when attempting a trick like this. I think it would be commitment. Commitment, yeah. Commitment would be the number one thing on this one. So you're moving, it's a moving ollie, you're not necessarily ollieing for distance or height, so what, what are some things you're going to think about when you're going off curve? So when going off the curve, I mean, pretty much, you're doing the same thing you've been doing. Just ollieing. Ollieing off of a curve uh, would be a lot of commitment. Uh, you're doing the same old thing, regular ollie, and you're not really going for distance, like you said, you're not really going for height either. You're just trying to get that ollie down where you want it to go. Really, it's just... Committing to that ollie, uh, bending your knees a little bit more on the way up, and it's coming down, bending your knees a little bit even more uh, to absorb that. So, I mean, it'll just be absorbing that impact. So, with this, would you say there's a greater impact because you're uh, you've got an uneven surface? You're ollieing and you're coming down heavier than you usually are used to because you're coming off that one higher surface. You're just going a little bit faster and bend your knees a little more. You should be able to slip that. With this this one especially, it's vitally important not to lean back. No. <laughs> you don't want to lean back. Like I said, you have to keep your body, your momentum, you keep it on top of that board. And uh, if you don't keep your body on top of that board, you're going to slip, and that curve's going to be a lot closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> check out our next video right up here. And then if you need some refreshers, check out this down here. Leave us a comment about your struggles with this type of ollie. Just remember, subscribing to Geezer will make all of your dreams come true. Just ask this man right here. <laughs>